South Omaha say too many drivers are speeding in the Mandan Park area. It's an issue they say they've noticed in the last two years. Now, Omaha police say these concerns are not falling on deaf ears. In KTV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser investigates the traffic issues and what's being done about it. At some times during the day, drivers on 13th Street near Mandan Park seem to follow the speed limit. But other times, it's almost like you're going down the interstate. Some of them are going 50, 60 miles an hour. School bus driver and South Omaha resident Gloria Vallecillo says the stretch of road. It's very sad because it's not safe for your children. Gets dangerous. Cops aren't around as much as they used to be either to, to stop these speedings or any of that. Omaha Police Lieutenant Brian Schmoderer says they've heard concerns like this and they've stepped up patrols in the area. Even if they're not taking a call for service, They've been instructed to be in this area so residents can see that we're here. Lieutenant Schmoderer says this includes officers riding in unmarked vehicles. So it, just because you don't see a police cruiser doesn't mean that we weren't investigating this situation. As for speeding concerns, he says they responded by putting up a radar speed sign last year. The radar sign was able to show us that there was some speeding going on. The majority of the speeding was in that five to 10 mile per hour range. But there's another element that has residents like Vallecillo concerned. I would like to see the, tra the traffic lights back. In 2021, as part of the master plan signal upgrade project, Omaha City traffic engineer says his department removed two signals, also known as traffic lights, on 13th Street. One just north of um, Missouri Avenue at Spring Lake, or I believe Jay also is the other cross street, and then uh, Gibson um, to the south of Missouri Avenue. Jeff Rieselman says those traffic lights were no longer warranted based on national standards. So their removal uh, in one way is helpful for safety because unwarranted intersections have a higher rate of red light running crashes. Rieselman says traffic lights and stop signs are not actually intended to control speed. He also says the removal of the lights on 13th has not led to more crashes. We've been monitoring the, the, the crash history at those locations and we have um, noted that there's been no increase in crashes at those locations. In fact, the rate of crashes over the two year period has decreased. Rieselman, Lieutenant Schmoderer, and Vallecio all agree on one thing. Drivers need to be patient and lighten up on the gas pedal. We, those speed limits actually have a, a reason, and we would like people to drive that speed because it's going to be safer for all road users, including pedestrians and bicyclists. We need to be more mindful in regards to when people are walking or people are driving. Quinicia Fraser, KETV, Newswatch 7.